When Arsenal signed Ben White, you could say some people weren't too happy. The tweets were raining in. He had some work to do to prove people wrong. You know what? He's done just that. Huge question mark. You know, a lot of Arsenal fans did see the value in it, though, and realised the fee was bumped up purely because he was English, but he's going to be a quality player. Now, the Coach's Voice website is a great resource, and the scout reports they've done on a few players, including Ben White, has been superb to read. So there is Benjamin White's player profile on FM22, Football Manager 22, and the attributes well scouted by the FM researchers, and we'll get into them shortly. So, coach's voice, scout analysis, what you're saying. White is a right-footed defender who is super versatile. You're damn right he is. Look at this even from the FM standpoint. You've got centre-back there as a natural. He can cover it right back. And he has the technical ability to play in defensive midfield. Or, if you like, right in the heart of the midfield. We love this bit of analysis right here. It's proven at preventing opponents from turning, particularly when they've received their backs to goal. Valuable asset indeed. What helps this is... A few attributes, but namely agility, which is huge, and balance, so he can keep an eye on them little tricky players he's going to have to mark. So, white quality at that in that centre back role. Now, complementing all that, the ability to block shots, so getting in the right positions and offering cover. So, a key to that is you're into the mental section now, and you're thinking of things like anticipation, composure, concentration, and decisions. Not to mention bravery. White comes up trumps on all those things. Now they do make a point of saying that he's not the most dominant in the air, which is pretty, pretty accurate. I mean, true, he is six foot one, but only 78 kilograms, so he's not the big imposing style of centre back. And in fact, his jumping reach of 13 is not the best. When he does make the header, he is a good header of the ball, but you don't want him to rely on him as the dominant centre back. More of the cover player and the ball playing defender. Just like Coach's voice say here, and as the graphic shows, he's actively encouraged to move forward. He's at his best with the ball at his feet, advancing into midfield. We have saw he can play in all the positions in midfield as well. So he's like your perfect ball-playing defender, really. And that's when we flip over to the technical side. You can see first touch of 14, which is better than a lot of midfielders. Passing 14 and technique 14 as well. Chucking a mental attribute of vision as well. Man, you're laughing. We're into his role at Arsenal now. Now, Arsenal will drop into a 4-4-2 when defending, like the coaches' boys have picked up on there. In possession, it's more of a 4-2-3-1 at the minute with those two central midfielders directly in front of the defenders, giving them... A decent bit of support. So at the minute, Arsenal set up in that sort of shape there. Obviously, roles can be subjective and a few of the players may chop and change, but that's, in general, the system. Now, in front of Ben White there, I've got him as a ball player defender on cover. So Gabriel's going to be the one going for the headers. And ben White will sweep up. In front of him, you've got a double shield. You've got Partey and Xhaka. So there's a nice bit of protection there. One side, you've got Tierney, who's much more aggressive. Tommy Asu, if I quickly press on Tommy Asu, you'll see... The man's six foot two. He's basically a centre back in waiting, so even more cover there. He's less aggressive going forward, so it gives a chance for White now and again to drift over here and ping those balls. As the scout report says, White less commonly dribbling into midfield than he was because it's basically congested in there with these two boys right in front of him. Now, while he may attempt fewer switches of play, the ability to play long range passes does remain so. In the real world, you will still occasionally see the booming pass from White. And in FM, there's nothing stopping this ball playing defender from pinging it left, right, and even the odd through ball straight down the middle. Now, Arsenal fans will probably be happy to see that his current transfer value, you're looking at somewhere between 61 and 74 million at the start of FM, which is probably accurate in real life. And when you look at his real life stats this season, you can see how he's played. Pretty damn impressive, right? So this fee right here for 50 million now looks like somewhat of a snip. Somewhat of a snip for a guy that's 23 years old. At the start of his English career, he looks like a quality, quality player for the future. So then, how does he progress in FM? 
Is he worth a sign in an FM? Bear in mind that his contract there, 2026. So you're going to have to spend some money to get him out of it. One way of finding out, if we float on over to Twitch now, this is the Twitch save over here with ACR Messina. I'm 12 seasons in, believe it or not. Yep. So if we go and find Ben White now in this save, we'll see what sort of career he's had in the FM realm. Let's load up Messina. Right, Messina loaded up. Top corner. Bosh, 4th December 2032. That's a lot of game time. Let's see what he's been doing. First signs, alarm bells. Burnley only added the six England caps, which is interesting. But the key thing will be the history tab. Let's see what sort of career he's had. Wow, okay. So from this Arsenal move here for 50 million in 21-22, you can see he's a first team regular pretty much all the way through. Gets a bit of bit part here and there, but the average rating is solid all the way through. Leading to, in 27-28, a £35 million pound move to Roma in Serie A and again some monster seasons for Roma 7.43 average rating in there all in all pretty damn impressive season by season a good career pretty surprising that we've only managed to get those eight England caps so we go back to the start remember coaches voice get over to their website they've got all sorts of scout reports on players formations tactics I saw this one on Ben White and I just thought I'd check him out see how his progress goes in FM and in real life. You saw his real life stats. The guy's flying. Let's do another one of these soon, eh?